three of my weekly roundup series. I'm Charlene from Social Dressmaking. So this week has been a bit of a strange one for me. Honestly, I feel like it's just gone by in a wee bit of a blur. Um, with Emily being sick at the start of the week, obviously I lost a few days. Um, and yeah, everything is just a wee bit, just a wee bit crazy this week. I don't know. It's just a funny one. Um, but yeah, we are. She is feeling a lot better now. Um, Charlie's a lot better now so yeah we're all getting back to normal thank goodness. So I still managed to get a bit of sewing done and um, most of it was done within two days and um, really I think it was Wednesday Thursday I got a good bit done. So the first thing I made, I can't remember which one was first, I'll show you this. <laughs> so um, this is the square dress by Trend Patterns in a John Caldor satin from Minerva and this is one of my Minerva Makers projects um, and I'm really happy to get this one finished. I have been, I have quite a few vlogs to do for them at the minute but that is because they sent me so much fabric the last time um, just because I knew I would have more time <laughs> at the minute obviously um, and I do have a lot of time but I always find, sometimes I find, just if I can't figure out what it is I want to make with them, it does take me that wee bit longer getting around to it, but I'm really happy with all my picks now and what I'm making. So yeah, happy to get this one ticked off the list because you know it has been on my plans now for a couple of weeks. Um, I've been trying to get around to it and yeah, I really, really wanted to make this pattern as well. I absolutely love it. So I have added some top stitching detail to the panels. Um, just to make them stand out a wee bit and I'm really happy with the effect and yeah it's a really lovely pattern it's like it is really big at the bottom I don't know can you see that there and it has pockets and yeah really great construction the main body of it came together really quickly but the facings took a wee bit longer just because they're the all one facing with the sleeve and the neckline um but yeah really nice make um only thing I have to do is hem it but that will take me a few minutes today it's not too much work to do left for that one but yeah really happy I got this ticked off my list Um, then the other make this week was the Paper Theory Kabuki tea in this amazing I love this fabric and um, this is the Explorer Rayon Voile I hope I've got that name right because it's what I've been calling it um, from Sister Mintaka so this is the fabric I used to make my paper cut sequence dress and what I do now, especially with dresses, whenever I'm cutting them out, I kind of have a rough idea of how much fabric or the size of the pattern pieces for my different different top patterns that I have. So it means then whenever I am laying out my pattern pieces for something else, I can kind of guess where I will have the space to make something else so that, um, yeah, I can get as much out of the fabric as I possibly can. And I have got a lot out of this fabric including a little frame and um, which I'll put a wee picture up of um, frame some of the fabric and yeah absolutely love this top I've worn already and um, it's just it'll be so perfect for summer nice and light and floaty and breathable obviously but it will also be great um, when it's not so warm because uh, I can layer a vest under it and then a cardigan over so it's going to be a really really versatile piece in my wardrobe. I just love these colours so so much. It looks great with just black jeans and um, a pair of trainers. It's a perfect outfit. So yeah really really happy with that and I think if I ever get my dawn jeans twelve finished, the wearable twelve, I think they'll go pretty well with that too. Um, and the more I look at this, the more I want a wee bit more pink in my wardrobe, I think. Although I always think this and then never wear it that much. But really happy with this make. Um, this is my second one of these, so I kind of had a pretty good idea of the construction. Um, I have another one cut, and I know that will probably go even quicker again. Um, yeah, so it's a great wee pattern to have um, sort of in your stash. I cut the front of this one in two, um, which I probably should have done on the back, but it's fine. Um, I don't think you really notice it with this print and yeah really happy with that. So the other thing that I started this week which wasn't actually on my list is my Winslow plots. So I'm using this fabric here and um, I got it in my friend's D-stash so it's like a pale sort of icy blue, I think it's a polyester I'm not 100% sure but 
it's um, got like a really really fine herringbone weave on it I'll pop a wee close-up picture of it and um, but yeah they're really nice and drapey and floaty so these will be lovely for the summer so I did view C or view B I can't remember it's the collots version anyway not the shorter ones and um, yeah really excited about these I was chatting to one of my sewing friends and she had been making a pair of these as well and it just put me in the mood to get these made I have also been trying to get all my projects out of the way that use a lighter colour over a locker thread because I need to change my threads so I have I just thought well if I can get these even mostly done before I have to change my threads then um, yeah that'll not hold me up and I think these will be perfect for the time of year at the minute too they're nice and light and floaty but they've still got that wee bit of length um, and yeah can't wait to get these made and um, this will actually be my first pattern from Helen's Closet. I have a few of her other patterns but I've never got around to making them and I don't know why because I really do like her patterns, I like her style and yeah I think if I like the shape of these on me I would say I will make quite a few more because they are just going to be perfect for the summer. I, I think they'll be the right shape for me. I think it's the kind of style and the shape that I like. So we'll see. I'm excited to see these finished. Um, but yeah, that is the sewing I got done this week. The other thing I've been doing is doing lots of planning for my Instagram challenge this week that I'm hosting with um, Roisin. So that's So Row Roisin McMullen. I'll pop a link to her Instagram here as well. She is actually one of my sewing students, um, which is a sewing blogger, or a fashion blogger, sorry, and um, does like a lot of... Um, like styling events and stuff and fashion shows and that sort of thing she's so so lovely and um, and she was specialised in a lot of like um she's quite petite so she would do a lot of petite fashion and what works for that sort of shape so definitely go over and give her a follow um, and we're hosting an instagram challenge this week called a hint of print so after the insta rainbow challenge i just thought it was a really fun way of getting dressed but i don't have a lot of colour in my wardrobe i like to wear a lot of black and yeah, even the colours I do have, I do, I do tend to stick to the same colour palette, but I thought um, instead of just focusing on colours, um, doing a challenge with prints would be really fun because I have a lot of prints that I can wear and it's just a fun way to get dressed in the morning and something to do when we're all stuck in lockdown. So yeah, really, really excited about that. So many people have said they're going to get involved and it's just going to be, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, but I know it's going to take a lot of work um, and a lot of time this week. Um, not really a lot of work, but it'll take a lot of my time this week. So I want to get as much planning done for it now that I can so that, um, yeah, it'll not be too much next week. Max, my wee dog, is here looking for attention um, now that the kids aren't here. Um, so, yeah. Then this week, so I have been watching... Um, I, I would say I'm probably obsessed with it is the OC um, so this was first out and I think it came out in like 2003-2004 um, I would have been about 16-17 at the time I think so I was probably around the same age as the characters in the show and me and my sister were obsessed with it like just so obsessed um, and yeah I started watching it on Amazon Prime and I just absolutely love it like I think I'm already on episode 18 this week and um, their episodes are about 40 minutes long and yeah it's you know what it's just easy to put on the background I remember most of the things that happen in it anyway so I don't have to follow too closely but I am just absolutely loving it and um, so yeah that's what I've been watching and then listen to if I'm not watching that when I'm doing work when I'm doing sewing or housework or anything like that I've been listening to Chris Stapleton um, on Spotify so we had listened to a few of his live videos on YouTube the other night and it just really put me in the mood for listening to him and um, if you haven't heard of him you'll probably recognize some of his songs if you listen to him but he's a lovely voice and it's exactly the kind of music I like listening to and um, kind of country bluesy rock sort of genre and um, we've been everything but yeah he's great so I have been listening to that as well so yeah, that is my week. Um, it's, yeah, as I say, it's been a strange one. Um, we've been getting sick and we haven't really, I haven't had a lot of sleep. Been swapping beds a lot with the kids and just whoever's up and needs me. But um, yeah, 
it's been it's been everyone's getting better now so it has it's been a good week apart from that we bump at the start when Emily wasn't well it's been yeah pretty good week apart from that but just has gone by in a bit of a blur so hopefully next week will be better I'm really excited about it um, and yeah that's everything so I will catch up with you again probably Monday or Tuesday with my planning episode so I'm going to do that this week I don't know if I'll get a lot of sewing done this week but I have a few ideas of what I want to start working on next so I'm going to share those with you anyway um, and yeah that is everything from me now so I hope you've all had a lovely week and you're having a nice weekend and ready for the fresh week that is coming um, and I will chat to you all soon. Bye!